it's Jennifer from Gentle Soaps and today I'm making shaving soap for all of my clean shaven men. Um, it's really quite awesome. We're going to try a couple of different ways of presenting it um, and then we'll end with the cut. So um, I'm really, really happy. It's a very different kind of soap, so it's a little hard to work with, but I really like the holding that uh, the stearic acid brings to, to the table. It's going to be amazing. I hope. So let's go soap. and um, sodium hydroxide and to this amount of soap um, I'm going to be using 82 grams of sodium hydroxide and 50 grams of potassium hydroxide. Alrighty so let's start with and I've got charcoal here today because we're going to use a little bit of the charcoal. So the charcoal is on everything. Um, so just ignore that. Okay, so let's turn it on and zero it. And this is my sodium hydroxide, so I need 82 grams in the deadly cup. this potassium hydroxide, so 50 grams. This is still going to be a solid-ish soap, it's just not going to be nearly as hard as a traditional bar of soap. We want it to have a bit of a spreadable consistency and that's why we're going with a mixed blend. So the deadly cup is loaded. Next we need to get our water measured out. So for this soap, I need 850 grams of water. And I need more. I gotta go back to the, get some purified water. I'll be right back. I need 850. heated up and we're going to use the hot process for this so I'm going to add my lye crystals to the water and we'll see what kind of dance the sodium the potassium hydroxide decides to do for us today it always gives us a little concert so let's see what's going to happen today I always add it a little at a time because of the, the violence you hear that? <laughs> and it's done. <laughs> Let's do that one. Anything more? Does Lai have anything more to say? Yep. a little something something. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just going to set this aside. And I am going to add some silk to this. Um, to As soon as it's dissolved, then we'll mix our water and our um, everything else. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in there. And whatever doesn't dissolve, we will just pull out.
It looks like it's just gonna pretty much all dissolve. Look at that already. It's nearly gone. Silk cocoons are the, probably the most natural form of the silk you can get. It can be hard to find, but uh, I managed. So we have, that looks like it's completely dissolved. See how quick that can be? So I'm going to bring the oils over here and uh, we'll get started mixing. Alright, so I'm just checking the temperatures. Sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide is about 150. Ooh. And my oils are 245. So if I want to mix these, I'm going to have to be really, really careful. And what I think I'll do, I'm going to try something unconventional because I am. I'm going to change the container for one so it cools a bit. But again, use an extra deep container because that'll help. But uh, it's coming down. But this is already at, yeah, it's already gone down another four degrees. So I'm going to just come right back with a different container. All right, we've cooled it down a little bit. I have to actually put it in the refrigerator for a little while. Now I'm only going to add a little bit of the sodium hydroxide at a time, the mixture of light, a little bit at a time. Um, because of the difference in um, temperatures, a little bit of a difference. So I'm going to put some in, and you see that immediately turn into a cloud of stearic acid. Now that's going to heat up. A lot of my silk did not dissolve, so I'm going to put this in there, and I'll add some more sodium hydroxide to it later. Now let me give this a little stir. This is perfectly normal for a soap that's high in steric acid. It does this whole weird funky thing. Hmm. Might need to switch up my containers because I'm almost half full, which makes me a little nervous. All right, let's just keep on keeping on. bit more. Now I'm going to use a little bit of coconut milk in this recipe as well as the silk. Good until you've got it all incorporated. Now this is going to volcano on the countertop. So if you don't think you've got enough room for it to do that, have a pan underneath to catch anything that might go all over the place. Anytime I use steric after watching a friend make soap, I always, always use as a backup. Now if I had stainless steel I would. All I've got are aluminum. So, but these are just for soaping and bath bombing and all of that anyway. So I'm not going to use my stick blender right away. I'm just going to do this for now. Okay, so let's see what our temperature is sitting at. That's perfect. It's at 140. I'm not in a huge danger right now. Actually, I'm going to use my metal one. These higher temperatures, it's just better to have a metal one. I've actually melted <laughs> that plastic one a little bit.
just love how creamy it is, how crazy smooth it is. Look at that, isn't that fun? So it's nice and thick. I'm going to cover it up and see what it's going to do. All right, let's wash together and see what happens. This is actually one of my first shaving soaps. Uh, not my first mixed oil soap, but I really like how hard it is already. Check that out. It's nice and hard. I wonder if it's soap yet. Maybe that's just some of the oils. Yeah, we're getting a nice creamy lather already, so it's turning into soap. Look at that. Mm. Let's see. Okay. It solidifies in my bowl. I know I waited too long. Okay, I'm just gonna oh it's heating up. So we've waited a while. Let's see what's going on in the bowl. Oh boy, yeah, it's getting nice and thick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my tubes and in my container. Um, I'm also going to add some hot coconut milk. Just a little bit. No, I'm not. <laughs> Okay, let's get the uh, fragrance oils in here. That's going to be a challenge. Let's see what we can do. downstairs. It's still nice and hot. It's going to be fine. Alright, I've got 
some yogurt and coconut milk. I'm going to use to uh, kind of relax this a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's still pretty thick. Add a little bit of that. And we'll see if we need any more. I measured on the low end for my water. That's probably why I'm getting all this weirdness going on. Okay, so let's see what's going on. the stick blending. I'm just going to put that into soak. Just this my hand mixing. Now I'm going to put this in the oven to warm up a little bit. I think I've lost too much heat. That improves the fluidity as well as what I just added. Hold on, we'll be right back. It's pretty cool. Check out the foam. The foam factor is pretty freaking fantastic. I don't know if it's going to set up the way I want it to. Should. I want. Table foam. This is a shaving soap. And I've got two different ways for delivery. One is in the stick, and one is the. I'm going to do two sticks two different ways. That's looking like. I'm going to see how long this foam will last, and I'll bring you right back. So I'm going to let you watch this foam so you can see for yourself whether or not you think the soap is going to be nice.